Hey guys, it's Becky. I am in my closet again. It is Friday, August 17th. It is 5.42 p.m. I've been home for a little bit. I've already started um, a load of laundry. I don't know if anybody else does this. I wash my sheets every Friday. It's just something I do. So I've already started that. We have so much stuff to get through tonight. It is scrap night Friday. I might not get any scrapping done because just because I have so much so many things I want to get done in this closet so I'll we'll see how it goes okay so I did move some stuff and I found which you guys don't really need to see this I found these two bags this is what I have left of the reset girl I'm just gonna disperse this throughout my um, stash and put the scraps with the scraps and this is what's left of a kit I put together and there's like two pieces of paper in here and a whole bunch of scraps so i'm going to disperse this throughout my stash as well okay here's a layout i started which this is a problem for me i've got like lots of videos on on my computer that i haven't finished it's a, a six weeks like my cardstock's already bent up because i've had it in here so long it was, I was using Ellie's Studio, so I had cut out all of these hearts and backed them, but it was a 16-week photo of Brandy when she was pregnant, my niece. Photo's not in here. I don't even know when her 16 weeks was, so I think that I am not going to use this. I think I will use these hearts that I've already cut out in this in a different layout. So maybe I will do that this weekend. So I did find this when I was moving stuff the other day. This right here is the giveaway box. I just stuck it in there so I wouldn't fall. Okay, so I found this one as well. This is a layout I started. So that's why I said not a whole lot of scrapping is going to be getting done. I'm going to probably be working on things I've started and not finished. This is all I have. My idea was to um, do the background, just the border like this, but then also have the same kind of technique bordering the photo in the center and then embellish it. It was going to be a layout of Jim. So I just stuck it, had it in this box and um, came across it. I think there's a video clip on the first bit of it, so maybe I'll finish the rest of it. This right here, also <laughs> layouts that I did have video on, but for whatever reason didn't finish. There's also a couple page protectors in here, it seems. So I did this one, but I didn't love it because of this blank space up here. I do have a, a video that I have not edited, but maybe I'll change something up, up in that top, and then do the voiceover. I don't know. I have this one. I have a note on it, and it says I need journaling. This, I know there's a video. This is one I started when we were on the cruise. It's awful. This one, I'm just going to take apart and put these um, embellishments in my stash. This, this is pretty awful. This is another one of Brandy. 37 weeks she's fine she doesn't need all she doesn't need all the pictures <laughs> right <clears throat> this is another one and I'm saying on here I need journaling used to I didn't do my videos unless I had done journaling well it didn't take too long before I got away from that so that's what this is this is another one that I did on the cruise and I hate this one as well so probably I'm gonna peel off these well, actually this is just a fussy cut um, I'll probably peel off the chipboard pieces and just throw this in the trash so yeah I found those in my little excursion this weekend so I have three layouts that I either need to do the video on and do journaling and then I have a couple I need to rip apart because they're awful. I'm not going to revisit them because Adele, Brady's daughter, is two years old now. Well, she'll be two in October. She's two years old now. So 
I'm not gonna go back and redo that. She's not my daughter. These are all layouts that have been done, but like this is a real recent one. Actually, has this one up? I think this goes up tomorrow. So you'll be, by the time this, this it goes up on Sunday, you'll have seen this. So I just need to file it. So most of the ones that are in here, and then I keep the sketches with it because I like to write on the sketch what layout I did with it just for my own information. So I know I used that sketch before. So these are all ones you've seen. This is an insert or will be an insert, a small insert. These are the original photographs to this layout. So yeah, these are all things that I just need to um, put in page protectors and put in albums. I don't know if I'll do that on video or not, but we'll see. I think some of these actually still need to have, I'm so sorry. I had a burp, it was really weird. It's like coming out when I was talking. That was so gross, I'm really sorry. Anyways, I think some of these, that was really gross. Um, some of these, I'm glad you like weren't sitting here with me, legit. You'd be like, what is happening, exorcist? <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> some of these I think need journaling, so I want to go through this, put these up, and I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll go through them, do the journaling on the ones that need journaling, and then maybe at a later time we can put them up together. And then you can see my disastrous upstairs. My albums, they're just laid out on the floor upstairs. I have not been able to find a, a shelf that would fit them. I'm gonna actually, we don't have an Ikea. I'm actually gonna have to order it from Ikea, probably, a Calyx, I guess, and have it sent here. My albums are up in the bonus room, so we have a knee wall, so the walls go up like this, and then they curve like that. So the shelves can't be any taller than like this. I think it's like a, I think it is a 36 inch knee wall, I don't remember. So, that's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm probably gonna order that. I did have one in my cart in shipping. The Catholic unit itself was like 60 bucks, but shipping, I think I had two in there. I think they were 30 bucks each. I think it was 60 bucks, short ones. And then shipping was like 50. I'm like, really? And it was coming from Jackson. Well, Jacksonville is only like two hours away, hour and a half. We could drive there and get it, but I don't know, I don't want to. Okay, so let's go to this paper pad fiasco. I got a lot of good um, uh, comments and responses about it. Um, hold on one sec. Okay, I'm just moving you up in here. I think what Janet was saying, because she had put a comment on the video, and I think what she was saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Janet, but I think she was saying to you know, to avoid that whole thing. And also Brenda had mentioned, hey, if I have a stack that big, I'm not going through it. Which also kind of ties into Janet's comment. And they're really, really good ideas. Um, she was saying to put them like this, basically, throughout the thing, throughout the bottom of the closet. Now, t uh, Janet, correct me if I'm not saying, if I'm not, this is not what she meant, but I think this is what she meant to do it that way, which is a really good idea. So, I'm gonna go back and put all my paper pads like th that. The problem is, well, it's, not, it's not really a problem. I'll have like, I don't know, I think I had one somewhere. Like this one. Yeah, like this one. I have things I've already, I mean, I've already used this. So I have scraps in here and stuff. I think with the kind that are like this, that I've already used and they're cut up, I think I'm gonna put into a baggie, a big baggie, and just sit it like this with inside the baggie so all that stuff doesn't fall out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty busy night. I think I'm gonna start with this. These I just put in there temporarily. Um, 
they just turn on their sides like this so I can easily, you know, they don't have to, nothing has to sit on top. And Janet was saying if you do your paper pads like this, you can put stuff on top of them. But, I mean, not heavy things, she said. Like, like little kits or something. So, that's what I'm going to do. I might fry a yay. I got me some chai tea. It's my favorite. It's my favorite tea in my little bee mug. I also have an adult be beverage over there. I sure do. All right, let's see what time it is. It is 5.54, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out, pull out the layouts that I need to do journaling on, and take the layouts that I want to finish and put them on my desk. I'll probably edit some of those videos, but I'll probably won't edit them till after we wrap this part up. I probably won't scrap it all. I know, it's sad. It's, oh, and Jim's birthday's Tuesday. So we are going to be doing stuff for his birthday this weekend. So that'll be fun. He wants to, first birthday, he is so hard. I'll ask him what he wants for his birthday. And it's always something like I can't afford. Like, I don't know. I would like to have, I'd like to have this $20,000 car. No. So this year, he said he wanted to get some new clothes. So he said his jeans are falling apart. He needs some new jeans. So we're going to go out and do that and then probably stop by Best Buy while we're out. Yeah. So say happy birthday to Jim. Okay. So I turned all of the paper pads up like this. You see they're leaning a little bit. It's because I have a couple paper pads out that I needed to leave room to fit them back in one of them i'm working on with for mini kit monday and another one's for something else when i had done my inventory janet when i did my inventory i only found one paper pad that i had two of and it was this one this mommy sheets you can see right here it says 36 dash two um i don't think i've used it oh nope this one i have maybe i should where's number 36 Look how easy that was to find the other one. Number 36. Okay, this one I haven't used. I'm going to put this in the giveaway box because I don't need two of the same paper pad. I do need all the paper pads I have. I don't. But I don't need two of the same. So this is going to go into that giveaway box. Okay, so it is 7.01 now. And I went through my layouts. These are ones that I can file or like this one it goes to my sister so I need to put it in a separate place for her same as this and this and this <laughs> you can tell I've been kind of keeping hers aside until I have enough to send her these are just photos and they are older they're they own the album that's upstairs so i'm gonna put this to the side okay so we have this one this is february 27th so i have my albums here this is um what i've been using for 2018 and then i bought a black one i wish i could make all my albums that we are memory keepers um leather ones i like those a lot but it'd be really expensive to replace all my albums i can't do it right now but maybe someday. So I'm just going to flip through here and see where to put this. What did I say that was? Twenty-seventh. You can't even see what I'm doing down here. Here you go. Is that better? Um, it's going to be upside down for you. So here's February 24th. Here's March 3rd. So I'll need to put something right there. I have some page protectors in here. 
they're the ones that came with the album. So this is March. goes upstairs because it's an old when BJ first started walking but I have to do a special insert for this so I'm gonna leave it over here with the stuff I need to do journaling or date have dates on this goes upstairs and then this one is July 23rd Okay, so everything I need to get dates for or do journaling on, I'm going to stick back in this box. And then these binders I'm going to put back up on the shelf. Alright guys, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything else the rest of the night except for play. I have this Felicity Jane box here. It has the layouts I'm sending to my sister and Kayla. I can still fit a couple more, so I'm gonna put that right here. Here's the ones I need to do journaling on. I'm gonna sit them out here so I trip over them this weekend. That's a good reminder. Um, this is my giveaway box. Let's stick that out here. It's not heavy. It's not heavy, Janet. Janet, it'll be okay. <clears throat> so now that I'm done with all that, I am going to go work on some of those videos for those old projects that I had, and maybe I'll see if I can do something with this one, with those hearts. I don't know, it's pretty late. It's like 7.59. Nope. It just turned eight. That's my usual bedtime. And actually, my sheets have been sitting in the washer, so I need to go switch those out. I can't go to bed without making my bed, right? So today is Friday, and it's, you know, like I said, it's eight o'clock. My camera shut me off because it didn't like me too much. I have that light facing me because it's really dark in here. Um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and I have, I don't have to go back for a whole month. So maybe in a month's time, I'll be released completely. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm gonna go edit this video and hopefully be okay. I did want to mention, guys, when I was doing my cleaning up, I've said this before, I like to watch YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever. I use my iPad and wireless headphones so I can move around while my videos are playing, right? And, um, Anyways, I got to one from Kira that was from, I don't even know when she put it up, a couple weeks ago maybe? I don't know. 
She said she's not gonna do videos anymore. Hey. <laughs> That's sad. And then I watched another video and someone was saying that you're not probably getting all your videos on your playlist because somehow the YouTube algorithm has changed. So now I might have to go back to all my favorite people and make sure I've seen all their videos. That's sad. They shouldn't make me have to hit the bell every time because I don't want my phone going bing, 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 bing every time one of my favorite people, you know. I post a video, it should just be on my list. That's what I think. So tomorrow, like I said, we're going into town. Jim wants to do some shopping. I might go by Tuesday morning, which FYI, this is why I said this. Hold on a sec. Just give me one second. This video is gonna be like 800 minutes long. Okay, so I was in town for my doctor's appointment. So I went to Tuesday morning. I did. So I'll show you what I got. I got two packs of enamel dots. They had a bunch of ephemera. Um, I'm gonna probably try and go back tomorrow because I seen a couple hauls that probably I shouldn't have watched. And also some of the scrapbooking stuff at Hobby Lobby is 50% off, so I'll probably hop in there and see what they have. I went there a couple weeks ago. It was all right. I need to go to the other one that's local to me. Local to me. It's not. But if we're gonna be in town, I got two packs of the On Trend 2 um, ephemera. I, I do know this is not the best way to do this. This is funny. This is the Home Sweet Home Ephemera by Echo Park. I'm not a cook. I have been cooking a lot more lately because, you know, the whole low carb thing, which is going pretty okay. This is Beach Day. This is probably the one I should have got two of because we're coastal. I got, I did get two of these, the Let's Cruise Brads. I do still have two cruises I have not scrapbooked yet, or I've just done bits and pieces of. I super love this navy one right here with the waves. It's really cool. I, I know this isn't the best way to show this stuff, but whatever. This is the Are We There Yet, which is travel. Most of the stuff I got was travel themed because we are travelers. I got the Lesbian Mermaids, thinking of Marissa and Riley. The Party Time. I got these enamel sheets by Cartabella. They are also, are we there yet? I will never use that move, but come on, he's so cute. I might just use him to be facetious on something. Like maybe a layout of my brother, but I'll probably like call it jackass, not moose, or something like that. They had a bunch of these, and these, some of these are super puffy, and you can't help but go mm -mm, like that on it. I might have should have got more than one pack of these. I bought these before, but I love them so much. My other pack's like half empty. I bought another one. Okay, so I got these Tim Holtz stickers. They're gold and black. Then I got these ones that are white and gold, but I thought these were stickers, but these are not. They are rub-ons. So, yeah. It's funny, the stickers were 99 cents. The rub-ons were $1.99. Like, I would pay more for stickers than I would for rub-ons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these, though. I got these travel ones. They are Deja Vu's. They're also they're travel, which is fabulous. I really like these ones under here. I, I assume it says day one, two, three, four, five, day six, day seven. That's really cool, especially if you're a person that does like traveler's notebooks. I don't. I've tried it. I don't like it. Um, I like the idea of it. I don't like to do it. I don't like to store it. I don't like to watch videos on them either. I don't know why, it's weird. Even my favorite people that have videos on them, I'm just like, like, I just, I like their videos and I don't watch it. Just cause I like them, right? This is really cool. I like this around the world one. It's pretty awesome. These are those ones that are like chipboard 
on foam, which is funny because I recently did a haul for Willow Lane. Is that the new Maggie Holmes? Their chipboard, which I thought was chipboard, I didn't realize it was on foam until I started playing with the collection. It's on foam, it's really cool. It's cool. I got two of these. What? These are Disney's. Um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We've been to um, Disney World, not Disneyland. That's the one in California, right? No, Disney World in Orlando, but also BJ's um, Nursery was Mickey Mouse when he was baby. Because I needed these like a hole in the head. I've got two bags of figures. They're the same font. They're red. So, that'd be great for Christmas if I ever decide to do Christmas layouts. Wait. Yeah, I don't think I think I I think I have like one red font, so it's pretty good. Uh, these stickers from Pebbles. Super cute. And then I got these ones from Bow Bunny. It's kind of tore up on the edge right here, but still cute. I like Bow Bunny. I don't think Bow Bunny gets enough recognition. I really don't. I love Bow Bunny. Love, love, love. Okay guys, I really need to get away from this and um, do some videos. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.